Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you subscribe to me, fabulous. Thank you so much. If you don't, you should hit that subscribe button. I'd say hit the notification button. It might help you whenever I upload a video too. Don't do it all that often, but hey. But most of all, thumbs up. Because I entertain you as I teach you things maybe? Hmm. Anyways, got my new Ipsy box. We're going to do some unboxing and we're going to apply some of the products so we can see what it looks like and how it is and everything. So what I've done so far is I've put my lotion on, I've put my under eye stuff on, and I've put this wonderful stuff on that I've got in my box. It is 111 Skin. It's Rose Gold Radiance Booster. Just, she looks so radiant. feels so good, right? Yeah. Comes with a little drop. Shake it up real good. It's a fancy little bottle. I've used their product before. Their product is awesome. I also have a 111 Crypto Apt Sports Booster that you can mix in with their other lotion that I have that works great. So I might end up doing mixing that in with that lotion and it might actually work. Great. Okay, so we got that. If you're having any aches and pains or this or that, um, some of you might be against it, some of you might be for it. I personally, I am for it. I am for CBD, it does help. I take CBD tincture for whenever I travel. It helps with my motion sickness that I get when I travel. I've had that since I was a child. Um, it also helps with my anxiety that I get when I travel. I So it helps all around. It keeps me calm, cool, and collective. I just sit back, chillax. There's really no high, it just keeps me calm. So saying that, I have a CBD recovery balm that I received in my box this month. And you take this, it's green, and you rub that anywhere you have the need that it's either an ache or a pain or you just want to be like, oh, make it go away. You rub this on it and it should help. I haven't used this particular product yet, but CBD products that I have used have worked so I'm hoping this does the same on to the next okay so we have smooth and blur primer it's translucent since I haven't put any of my makeup on yet I figured just put it all on with you right hey thanks so how's you guys going you know great happy Sunday y'all so you put just a little bit of this on and it should blur all your pores, all the fine lines, maybe. I personally have a pore issue. I have large pores right here, so anytime I can find something like this, it seems to have worked for the most part. I'll have to see once it sets in. So then, after I have that on, then I can put my foundation on, right? You know what? We'll do that. Let's put our foundation on, shall we? Okay. So, I've also gone to the store, my monthly makeup purchases and stuff. I've come across, I use IT Foundation, right? Okay. So, I essentially use IT Brushes, right? IT Brushes, this is their Heavenly smoothing complexion brush I have another brush of theirs and I'm just like ah, they're great brushes but they fall apart both of them, the one I didn't think was because it's not quite it's kind of a knockoff so I understand this one not so much this is an actual it brush and my bristles come out like all the time and they've even started coming out of my face then it drives me nuts yes I need to clean my brush so just relax but anyways so I went and I needed a foundation so I talked to the cosmetologist that was there makeup guru whatever you want to call her she's like I don't recommend and then she actually worked for the it brand she's like I recommend these brushes so I picked up it is an it brush and it's so soft even now after I've had all this makeup on I've only used it a couple times it is an airbrush complexion perfection number 115 
it is an it brush for Ulta. This works so, so much better. Watch. I know, it's Sunday and I shouldn't be doing any of this because it's Sunday and all I do is hang out at the house and run a few errands here and there, but I think I got too much this time. Oops. Oh well, I'll fix it. And I will say too that this brush works a heck of a lot better Ta -da! than those other ones did. Yeah, and the it I use the CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. Plus, it has an anti-aging hydrating serum. Plus, oh my god, it has an SPF of 50. They have two other kinds of this. They have one that's just like a moisturizer. It's called the Bye Bye Foundation. And then they have one that is illuminator. So, but good thing with Ipsy. Okay, Ipsy. Back to Ipsy. Along with your monthly box, they also send you a bag of refreshments. And in said bag of refreshments, you get a lotion, if you so choose. They also have body lotion, body wash, and deodorant, and a razor, and something else and makeup removing cleansing wipes. You can add these curated to either once a month, every two months, or every three months, or not at all. Just, you know, get all the pretty makeup and then they give you something to take it off with. It's great. So, foundation is on. Yes. Eye primer. Hmm, what is that? What does that do? People use it all the time. They don't know what it does. Oh wait, let me see if I can get one. I get stuck on you by the beauty crop I've used this thing like crazy I had to get a new one I put this on and it just after I put all my face on of course it just helps my eyeshadow stick very very well so on to the next yeah what do we got here so we want to smell good do we want to smell good do we want to smell good we should smell good today yeah Let's see if this works. It's a Yurka. It's a Yurfork. It's a perfume stick. It's hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it to do. No, it won't come in. Oh, kind of. It looks like a lipstick. Hopefully you don't put this on your lips. And just put it on. Does it like shimmer you or something? It almost does. It almost makes you shimmer. Oh, look at that. I'll be using that often. What else do we have? Oh yes, of course. Lip stuff. Well, yeah. We got Moroccan Magic. It's Lavender Vanilla. It smells good. Their, uh, I have their coconut one, so I had to try their lavender one. Mm. Yes, it's great. And it almost looks like it, unless that's my makeup, but it looks like there's a hint of color to it, but I don't think there should be. Because it's just clear. So, I don't know. It's probably the makeup on my lips. Anyways. What else we got in the box? What do we got in the box? We got in the box. I know it keeps moving. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Oh, yes. And then to take all this off, after you're done using your makeup wipes or just by itself, we have a cleansing balm by Pink Diamond. You just dab that on your face and 
to break down the makeup and the dirt, you know, and then you rinse it off. We'll see how well that works tonight. And they always give you some kind of thing to read and all that fun stuff and about all the makeup that you got in here. Yeah. Get educated. I have a big giant box that's been sitting in here. Oh, it fell. Okay. So I saved, I think, the best for last, I think. This here we have is Tower 28. Milky lip jelly. Yes, I'm ass backwards, so I put my I will say it does not match the taste very well with the other stuff I have on. Then after I put my foundation on, you know, I do my concealer and this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'll probably end up doing that off camera because we're just focused on the box right now. So, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills. A brow pen. And the brow gel. So, let's see what damage we can do to my brows. I've heard this stuff is great. I did end up getting a mascara one time from Anastasia. It works great. So, so I usually don't. This is a brow, dark brow. Oh my goodness. Compared to my other brows. Something. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a dark. Leave me alone. Yeah. So that's the brow pen. Now, on to the good thing that's all dark brown. I am a brunette in some instances. So then we have the brow gel. It's basically just mascara for your brows. Make sure they stay put. When I first started putting makeup on, I did not do anything with my eyebrows. And then on, when I finally did, I'm like, oh. And it made a major difference. And when I did that, I was using some Benefit product, which I still do. But I don't go all out with my brows like everybody else does. I just kind of fill them in and make them look right. And I call it a day, like so. Except for this one's kind of funky. Why are you being all funky? Just fix it. Like that. Yes, I was taught or been told from different videos I've watched from different makeup gurus that I've seen. The brows, they are sisters, not twins. So make them look like they kind of match, but don't make them look identical. And hey, don't make them look like you're going to be surprised all the way long because, yeah, that don't work. So, not bad, not bad. So then, after I put all that on, I put, 
I didn't even put any of my stuff on, any of that on. Damn. All right. Hang tight, peeps. We're going all out for the most part. I'm going to use my dose of color. Not that I have it. It was in the box, but... Just so I can get... the rest of her makeup on. So, bear with me. I'm using the Precision Angle BMX 465 brush from Moda Pro to... I started doing this around my imperfections, just using a concealer brush just to kind of get in there. But I just realized that's not the exact one I normally use. I just, anyways. So yeah. And now I look almost halfway decent, right? Exactly. So for my under eyes, I always use my Visanti Buffer. Yes. I don't bake. Never have. Never will. But then I always got my fair brush. Oh, and the uh, setting powder we're using is Wet n Wild Pro Focus Translucent. I love this stuff. I know it's drugstore, but the only other one, I've used multiple setting powders. This one seems to work well for me. I will say the other one that works is the Shape Tape Setting Powder from Tarte. This one works wonders as well. It comes like this. I've gotten these in my Ipsy boxes multiple times. It works wonders. But just for a quick, just brush on, call it a day kind of thing wet and wild. You can also purchase it at Ulta, so it's only like five, six bucks. I'm still a, I sure like to pinch a penny here and there. Alright, look at that. We're all set, I think, for the most part. My hair is... I just asked her right now because I haven't done that yet, so... Don't mind me. One thing at a time. Excuse me. Hi, how's it going? Welcome back. So yeah, there's that. I'm so in love with tart stuff that, oh, I didn't even do that. I usually take a concealer and go down and highlight some areas, but I'm not doing that right now. Did my face. I did this. I did that. So this is what's up. The eye primer. But first, let me pick my nose in front of y'all. Er, got to dig for gold. I also got a palette. A palette in my box. And this palette is Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was excited to get this out. I was lucky enough to find another palette of hers. The Riviera. Look at these colors. I'm still so excited about this one. See, it's great. I love those colors. So now I got another one of hers. And it's all velvety smooth. This is Modern Renaissance. And they're a little darker of color. Let's 
They're very, very nice. We have names like Golden Okra, Bouillon Fresco, Antique Bronze, Love Letters, Cypress Umber, Red Okra, Ochery, Venetian Red, Burnt Orange, Primavera, Vermeer, Raw Sienna, you know, those crayons that you're just like, oh, ha. so this is what we're doing. It comes with a brush. It comes with a double ended brush. No, it hasn't been used yet. It's just the tip. So this is what we're doing. I'm going to take this end of the brush. Hmm, and I'm going to... They're very difficult. I never used this before, so we're going to make it up as we go, right? We're going to use this burnt orange here. Oh, here we go. Burnt orange. And I'm going to take it... Oh, my... Don't ever do that. Mm, shit nuggets. We're good. We're great. We're grand. So now I'm just going to take that color and I'm going to put it in my crease. Like so. Ta-da. And just kind of blend it, make it look however you want. You can blend it, or you can just cake it on, and call it a day. So now, my beauty crop eye primer, right? Let's take some of that on my finger, and I just dab it on my eye, like so. Dabbed on. So then I think I'm going to take, we're going to go with this Venetian red and I'm going to take some of that and it's very pigmented because that's the Venetian red on my brush and that is that burnt orange. I'm going to take this and put it in my outer corner. Oh yeah. Trying to make sure it's all blended in. It's a party color. Yeah, it's a party color. So then I'm going to take this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this Vermeer. Oh, they're so silky buttery. It's on my finger. And I'm going to put it in the corner. I use my fingers. It works better for me. I get all up in there. This is my canvas. I'm going to paint it how I see fit. That's how I look at it. And that actually works very well. So then, if you don't have a pan or something, just take a tissue and your color comes off. That way you can dip in. So then, I'm going to be completely different. I usually take the top color, put it underneath my eye, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take this red... Mm -hmm. Oatry, however you pronounce it. I'm going to take his brush. And I'm just going to put it underneath. And just go back over a little bit with the color up top you can even take your fingers you know and help blend it in a little bit like I said I'm not afraid to get there no don't use your fingers when you're putting the makeup how else is it supposed to apply brush 
sponge. Your phalanges are there for a purpose. <laughs> so. Clean my brush off once again. And then I'm going to take this tempera. Tempura. 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 I'm going to take it and I'm going to highlight my brow with it. Oh my. Yes. like so and then just dab a little on my corners on my eyes and voila Anastasia Renaissance modern Renaissance I should say so then I'll just take my things that I always take Just so I can complete the look. This here is my Wet n Wild. This is the only pencil I seem to use. I've used other ones that are, I guess, supposed to be better, but I don't. It's Wet n Wild. I'm not really cheapskate. I just like it's good. And then for my eyeliner up top, I'm going to use my Luna Liner from Seraphin Botanics. And just put that up there like so. I didn't even do my full face this time. I probably should, huh? Like that. And then why not just complete the whole? I know, I'm so unprepared. I'm sorry, I'm so unprepared, I'm so unprepared. My Anastasia mascara, right? If I have the brow and the eyeshadow, why not use the mascara? That's the wand for that. And like I've said before, I don't wear lashes. I don't see a need to, for me personally. I'm about to show you why. This is just Anastasia. It does bring out the lash a little better. But look. This side has mascara. This side does not. Does it look like I need to wear eyelashes? No, I don't need to wear eyelashes. I got my own. Yes, yes. I don't think I'm going to do full face today. No. I'll just do my eyes and what was in the box. Just played with my eyes. Put a little makeup on my eyeballs. So yes. Yeah, so. That's that. I'm not doing my full face. I'm not putting my contour on and all that stuff. It's Sunday. I got laundry to do. I just got earrings to do. So, one more thing that was in my box. One more thing. I usually use Tarte Shape Tape Spray. I'm almost out, so I need to get more. But luckily for me, I also get sprays in my boxes. And this month, I got one from Morphe. It is their Continuous Setting Mist Spray. My last item of my box. So just spray it. Wow. Yeah. That is a super fine mist. I'm going to have to not use so much of that next time. I'm going to be sweating out. So yeah, anyways, there's that. 
hope you like this last half hour you spent with me. I haven't figured out how to edit things yet, but hey, I got this, got this song. This is great. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully next time we'll just do a little quick short video, maybe do another little I to do or whatnot, but hey, have a great Sunday, have a great weekend, and we'll see you later. Bye.